what you guys got another video on how to migrate windows to another drive or new drive for free now the other day i put in a new drive in this little uh tiny micro pc and some people said could you show us how to uh migrate the data from one drive to another so i used one of the western digital blue uh, nvme drives so i'm going to be going from an ssd to an nvme but you could use a small uh, tiny hard drive which is like a mechanical drive to go to an NVMe or an SSD to an NVMe or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to get this into the PC. And what I'm going to do is boot up and I'll show you how to do it for free uh, with the piece of software. It's pretty straightforward, easy to do, doesn't need a lot of experience, but it's very useful to know. So I've got the drive all in now and uh, we're going to be copying the data from this SSD to the new NVMe that I've got in here. But like I said, it could be a hard drive in there two and a half inch hard drive to an nvme if you wanted to uh, basically clone your data across like that so let's go ahead and put this back up and get it up and running and i'll show you the software i'm going to be using here now before people say in the comment section why didn't you use this software this is just a tutorial on how to use a free piece of software to migrate all your data across or clone your data across if you use different software let me know in the comment section i'll be nice to read your comments about what software you use so here we have our 120 gig SSD in here. You can't see our NVMe drive yet because it needs to be populated. So what we're going to do is initialize the disk and you can choose MBR or GPT. I'm going to go GPT here and quickly click OK here. And once that's done, you should see the drive populated. So let's go ahead and click OK. And this will then get the drive ready. So you can see unallocated space here. We need to create a new simple volume. So you can right click on here. I can do this in the software, which I'm going to be using, but I just want to show you this as well. So you get both best of both worlds here. Let's go ahead and click next. And you can see here, I'm going to use the whole uh, drive here. So click next again, give it a drive letter and we can give this a label if we want to. We're going to erase over this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to call this NVMe so I can see what drive it is. And that way you're not going to get confused or mixed up. So let's go ahead and put NVMe in here and click next and finish and that will then format the drive and get it ready and now we can see the drive is available for use now we want to migrate our disk one to disk zero here so we're going to be migrating all of our uh, operating system and data across from one drive to another so let's go ahead and get some software and i'll show you how to do this now again there is other software available which you can use quite a few different ones uh, mini partition wizard is a pretty decent uh, piece of software but they're Latest versions are paid versions and you have to pay to do this particular task. But if you type mini partition wizard old version inside search, you will see we're looking for version 10 here. Version 10 is still free and you can still download it. And basically, you, once you download this and install it, it will give you that option to, um, you know, migrate your operating system across to a new SSD or a new hard drive. Now I'm going to upload this file to VirusTotal just to show you the file is completely safe. It's from Mini Tool Partition Wizard. It's just an older version of their software. They have got newer versions out, like I've already said, but these are now paid versions with this particular feature. So if you want to use another piece of software, you can do. I prefer to use this method here. It's pretty straightforward and easy, and I wanted to show you how to do it. So let's go ahead. You can see the certification here is for the Mini Partition Wizard company. It's all registered to them, so it's all safe to use. It's just a little bit outdated. So let's go ahead and install this mini partition wizard 10, and we'll say yes to the user account control and get this installed on the PC. You can see here, it's only free for home use. So you can only use this as for home use. If you're a business, you have to buy it, and that's what you have to do. So let's go ahead and accept their terms and conditions here. Click next, go next again and get it installed next and create a desktop icon yeah why not and then we can then get this installed on the system let's go ahead and launch the program it's going to take you to their website and uh, we don't want any of that stuff so let's move on to opening up the actual application so here we are with mini tool partition wizard 3 10.1 it's the older version but it has plenty of good options available in this version whereas in the latter versions they have become behind a paywall and you have to pay for them so let's go ahead and open this up full screen. 
And what we're interested in here is the Migrate OS to SSD or HD. But first, we're going to prep the drive and get it ready. Now, I know I've already showed you how to create a simple volume so we can actually see the drive, but you can see our NVMe drive here, which we've got it labeled. And what I'm going to do is going to delete all of the uh, partitions on here. I know I've just created them, but I just wanted to show you that on Windows as well. So what I'm going to do is select our disk, which is disk one, which is our uh, new NVMe. And I'm going to delete all of the uh, partitions. And then I'm going to apply this and say yes, and it will go ahead and remove all of that information. The reason why we're doing that, because we're going to clone our information from disk two to disk one. So now what we need to do is highlight disk two, and we're going to go up to migrate OS to SSD or HD. So whether you've got an SSD in here or hard drive, you can still use this feature. Now we have two options. Option A, I would like to replace my system disk with another hard disk, or we can do option B, which is I would like to move my operating system to another hard disk and keep the original hard disk in my computer. You choose which option suits you. I'm going to go for option A. I would like to replace my system disk with another hard disk. So I'm going to go with that option. Click next. And there we go. We need to now choose our destination. So I'm going to choose my new destination, which is disk one. This is going to be my unallocated uh, drive for my NVMe drive. This is where I want to put all my data onto, which is my operating system and all my data. So let's go ahead and select that. Now we can fit partition to the entire disk. This means it's going to fill the whole disk up and there'll be no unallocated space for the space that's left behind that is not being used. If you don't want to use that option, you can choose copy my partitions without resize, or you can choose what other options you want available on that screen here. So I'm going to leave the fit partitions to the entire disk, and that's what we're going to do here. So let's go ahead and click on next here, and we can now click on the finish button. So to boot from a disk, new disk, the computer needs to configure the BIOS settings. Make sure that new disk is configured as default boot disk. So let's go ahead and click finish. And what we need to do is apply this option now to make it uh, do the actual task that we've just set it to. So let's go apply and this will then start the process. Now, I would always advise you to make sure you've got backups of all your data before you do anything like this, because if something goes wrong, you could end up losing all your data. That uh, goes without saying. You may get this message coming up here, which says operation uh, copy partition cannot complete because the drive is being used now. That's because we are sitting here on the desktop in our Windows operating system and it can't continue. So you've got three options. You can either cancel the operation or close the program and click retry button. I'm going to do option A, which is restart your PC and mini tool partition wizard will automatically finish the rest of the pending jobs. So let's go ahead and restart now. It will restart your PC. If you've got any updates or anything like that, it's going to go ahead and do all of these here. And we'll just let that continue. I will speed this process up. You'll get the restart going and you will see a black screen and it will come up with welcome to partition wizard. Partition wizard will start in a second. And there we go. I will speed this process up. It's basically going to copy all of our partitions, our source partitions, our drive letters and stuff like that. So it's going to copy all this stuff across. It does take a bit of time. This could take a fair bit of time if you have a lot of data. There's not a lot of data on of this system, but if your drive is quite large and there's a lot of data on it, it needs to be copied over to your new drive. So that can take some time. So be patient and don't rush it. Just let it do its thing. Now, mine is pretty much finished because there's hardly any data on here. It's copied all of the stuff over. It's doing a few Windows updates in the process. And basically all I need to do now is let this get to the desktop and we should see our new drive with all our data on there. And you can see my account is already here. And this is my new uh, 500 gigabyte NVMe drive we're booting up to here. So let's go ahead and let that get to the desktop. And there we are. We're at the desktop now on our new NVMe drive. It's copied all of our stuff over. And we can take a look here. If we go into this PC, you should now see there is our 500 gig drive but it has left our system reserve uh, visible here. But that's not a problem. We can make that hidden, and I'll show you how to do that as well. It's a good opportunity to show you how to do these sort of things. So let's now show you basically what else you can do to 
uh, get your data off your previous drive if you wanted to, if you have got stuff on there, or maybe you want to finish off that drive and prepare it for use in this machine. So let me go ahead and open up mini tool again. I'm going to go into the uh, partition wizard here. And basically what we're going to do is take a look at our drives. We can see here the drive doesn't have a drive letter. It's made it hidden. And that's because we're not using this drive anymore. But if you do want to use it, what you can do is right click on here and change drive letter and basically give it a new drive letter. This is our new drive and drive uh, disk two is our old drive. So let's go ahead and prep this and get this ready. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click here and you can literally change letter and this will give it a drive letter and make it visible. Or you can go down the left hand panel here and change drive letter here or you can do it inside Windows. I'm going to give this a drive letter of Z and basically click apply up in the top left. Click yes, click OK, and that will now make that drive visible to me. So what I can do is I'll show you quickly in this PC. There we have our drive here, and this will have all of our information and data on it. But I'm going to be erasing all of this and making this my backup drive. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that and prep all that. It's pretty straightforward. Go back into mini tool partition wizard. And all we need to do here is highlight the whole disk, which will be disk two. So click this two here. And what we can do is delete all of the partitions like we did before. I'm just going to do this now. Now we haven't got any data on here. It's all on our new drive. And I'm, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to create a new uh, partition. So let's go ahead and select unallocated, create a new partition. I'm going to use the whole drive, give it a name. I'm going to call this one backup. And now we can click OK. And once that's done, we can apply this. And this will now apply it and get that drive ready. There we go. Very simple. And now once we've done this, we can apply that. And now we've got our old drive used as a backup drive. Let me just quickly go back into this PC. And you can now see in this PC, we have the backup drive, which is 120 gigabytes. Now I still need to hide this uh, system reserve. You should never leave these visible and it's not for use. It's for system reserve stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, sort this out right now. So I'm going to go back into mini tool partition wizard here. Open this back up one more time going to go back over to where it says system reserve this is our partition and I'm going to change the drive letter click on this one here and you can see new drive letter none and I'm going to leave this okay and then we can apply this and it will take away the drive letter and then the drive will be hidden and that will be it so now we can go back to this PC and that's exactly how we want it all done all finished everything's ready so we've got our new drive with our operating system and data on it. And we've got our old drive, which is now wiped, ready for backups and stuff like that onto that drive. So very simple and easy to do, free to use. If you want to use this method, you can do. It's just another way of doing things. People always ask me, why are you doing it this way? Why don't you do it this way? And at the end of the day, you can use it whatever software you like and do it whatever way you want. I'm just showing you options and other ways of doing things. Let me know in the comments section below what software you use, whether you're using Clonezilla, whether you're using Macron Reflect, Acronis, or any of these software that you can use. If you want to see some sort of other videos on this topic, then let me know in the comment section. Also, you can now see that the software that we're using here is now a paid software. If you want to upgrade that software, you can do to the latest versions. You can see here the pro version has an annual subscription and it's $59, and you will then be able to create the same thing that we've done here on a paid version, but you'll be paying for that every year. Personally, I will just use this, do what I need to do and uninstall the software. I don't need to leave it on the system. And that job is now done. You can't use the bootable media version on the free version here on this older version or on the newer versions. If you pay for it, you will get access to those features. Now I've used mini tool partition wizard for many years. And over those years, I've seen many features go behind the paid feature, which is quite sad to see. But unfortunately, it's a business, I suppose, and they have to make money. I'll leave the link on my website if you want to grab it. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Also, a special shout out to Ron Hicks.
Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. Thanks again for all your support, guys. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.